Okay, this piece right here I got out of my laundry room. As you can see, it's moving. This is one of those fiber pieces that it's a tiny little fiber ball that gets in your clothes, gets on your clothes, gets in your environment, your bedding. You can clearly see that this is moving. On its own, I'm going to move the uh, plate here just a tiny bit, see what's going on over here. Um, the focus, you know, it's different levels, so the focus has to alternate somewhat. But anyway, I think you kind of get the picture of what I see in my scope sometimes. And sometimes it doesn't move for very long, so I get a little glimpse of it and then it's gone. And I was fortunate enough this time to catch the little glimpse in the microscope so that you can see what I see sometimes when I ca capture this little lint and little ball of fiber, tiny little fibers that are in the environment. This is, an, I believe, a nanotube that's infiltrating our bodies. I find these coming out of my skin. Um, I believe they have the ability to take on color of the fabric that they're on. They're um, porous. I've watched them take in liquid. They're porous. And when I put saline solution or some other types of solution that I've tested on them, the color actually goes out of them too. So that's kind of how I know that they're porous and they can take on color. And that's about it. So um, this is another little piece to add to my collection of things that I have videotaped from the uh, fibers moving in the environment that are getting onto us, onto our clothing, um, into our bodies actually. Like I said, I take a shower with iodine, provodone iodine, and this stuff comes out of me. Um, iodine is toxic to these things, by the way, and of course you can't put that on your fabric unless you get the, I don't know, I haven't tried the clear iodine to see how that affects fabric yet. I know they have the colorless iodine. but. Um, I use, I just buy the other kind, I buy a box of it and use it on my skin and get these things to leave me alone, not to get into me and to come out of me actually if they are on me or getting into me. Um, so they must have some kind of parasitic value to them in their genetic modification because a parasite can go uh, use its enzymes to go through things. So I'm guessing there is something to do with a parasite. Just, just guessing. I don't know for a fact, but anyway, there you go. There you have it. You got to see firsthand. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, by his stripes, we are healed.